Bar Stool Sports. Bar Titan. Brandon Walker. Mostly Sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports. I'm Mark Titus. He is Brandon Walker. Today is Wednesday, April 10th. We are live from Chicago. We are presented by Jägermeister, and we want to talk to you about Jägermeister. We want to talk to you about when you're out with your friends, drinking, having a good time, and you order shots of Jägermeister. What do you tell the uh, What do you tell the bartender? Ice cold shots. You, you tell them ice cold shots. You say, "Damn, that's cold." Ice cold shots. You say, "I want my Jägermeister delivered to me." At a what's the what's uh what's the difference of piping hot? What's the direct opposite? Ice cold, probably. Piping cold. Piping cold. Piping cold. I want it delivered piping cold. Because Pi- pipes, pipe- can be, pipes can be pipes. hot or cold. That's true. Yeah. I want it a, a piping zero degrees mm-hmm. Fahrenheit. Almost a frozen pipe. Ice Give me the pipe. Cold. Wherever you're at, if you're hanging with friends or at the bar. What happened? <laughs> Whose noise was that? Hmm? Give him a pipe. Okay. <laughs> or maybe you're doing all the sports stuff or just mostly sports stuff. Call the shots. Cheers with Ice Cold Jägermeister. Remember to check Jägermeister out at BarstoolXJägermeister.com. Drink responsibly, Jägermeister the Coor. 35% alcohol by volume. Imported by Mass Jägermeister, U.S. White Plains, New York. Hello, everybody. What do Hi. You want, what do you want to talk about, Brandon? We have, uh, first of all, it's good to be back together. Am I in your seat, Connor? Should we? Do you want to sit? I'm sorry. I, 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 I imp- am I imposing by... I do here? think he thought he was a better Mark yeah, Titus go, than Mark wanna, Titus. No, we we don't have to do this. I didn't. I didn't even ask. I walked. Oh. I I just now realized how rude that was. Connor, I, mean, I, walked, cool? I walked into the studio and just sat down here. I didn't even. I didn't Connor, even think to ask Connor. Connor am I allowed to sit cool? in your seat? I only sit in that seat when I am asked or told to. How much pushback did he give when you're like Connor? You want to sit in the seat? How, oh how no! Much? It was. You ever um, you ever see stunt doubles? When when uh, a guy, uh, an actor is walking along perfectly, and then all of a sudden there's a double flip into a spin and a roll, he double flipped. <laughs> no. His stunt double landed there, and then all of a sudden it was just him in my face. Yeah, I just I I think overall the entire energy of the show is better when we have two people at the desk. Uh huh. And when Brandon said, which two people though? Doesn't matter. Well, it, it could be whoever. When, I think when Brandon's out, uh, I kind of I, I I leave that chair empty sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, because I don't because it's like it's out of respect to Brandon. I asked it just out of uh, uh, you know, I was being professionally courteous yesterday. I was like, "Hey, does anybody want to sit in Mark's chair?" And then everybody, of course, would. It's on you to say no. That's his chair. Mm-hmm. But you jumped stop up, it, and then you went into rock mode. He went into rock <laughs> mode. I saw that. I saw that. If you some, oh, I love it. <laughs> I know that. I have something. <laughs> I have something very important to talk about. Let's talk about it. And it happened to me, and I think it's something. I know there's a lot of people watching mini golf right now, but the ones who are watching are truly family, so I appreciate it. And if you don't, go watch mini golf, please, because that's also sponsored content. Anyway, <sighs> sorry, Let's see if mm-hmm. I can get through this. Um, yesterday, I tweeted out I needed help getting my peer installed. And then you very, very helpfully replied, "I don't. I'm not in that business. I don't do that. Yeah. So I can't help you at all." Well, I mean, like there was a there was a world where like you're sitting around scratching your head. You're like, "I wonder if Titus actually yeah. knows how to install up here." And I um, I wasn't, but in case I yeah, had in case been, you it's were, nice I was like, to... "I'm going to remove all doubt and let you know." No, I, I I'm not in this business. But that tweet devolved into because I know when I tweet, "Hey, does somebody do this?" It's gonna gonna have 300 smart ass answers and then four people trying to help you. Uh, anyway, it devolved into a peer versus doc discussion. And I always thought they were the same thing. No. My so God. no, I have a peer in my house. No, you don't. You have a doc. No, I have a peer. I have a peer. Water flows underneath it, through it, like a peer. The peer juts out into the water, whereas a dock is a fixed or floating near the bank so boats can come dock to it. And so what do you use your pier for? I dock, dock my boat, boat there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. I dock I I park my boat there. So you have a you have a dock. I have a pier. So what's the difference? Why 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 do you want to have a pier so badly? I don't you know. know. You still obviously sound, have a dock. I feel like piers sound more worldly. 
a peer. That's my peer. I thought a peer is you just my understanding of a peer, and it's not. It's a limited understanding. Uh, I only live by the beach for a little while. It was just a brief in, stint in Chicago. In, in those in Los Angeles, uh, it was just a very brief stint. Yeah, but, but uh, you didn't see anybody out there. I met many peers. <laughs> I met there were some of the most famous peers in Southern California. Um, I thought peers were you don't dock your boats there. You you walk out. You hold hands with your best gal and look at the sun and maybe get a get a an ice cream cone. But you can try have to, an try ice to, cream and, cone and try to try, try to spot a dolphin. Can you get a, Can you buy an ice cream cone? Can I hold hands with my best gal? <laughs> yes, yes. On, on you your can pier. do that on my pier. You can have an okay. ice cream cone. Uh, I haven't set up the. I haven't gotten the permits to sell the ice cream cones on the pier yet. I, to my knowledge, you cannot see a dolphin. Okay. But you don't see dolphins at every pier anyway. Okay. Because there's piers in Lake Michigan, right? It's hard to say. Well, Navy Pier. But do you dock boats at Navy Pier? It's got a Ferris wheel okay. on it. Like, piers, my understanding of piers is like... It's, Mine has a Ferris wheel. Yours has a Ferris wheel. Mine has wheel. a Ferris wheel. Uh, but if I, if I don't park my boat there, if the boat is not docked there, is it then a pier? Does it become a dock? I think my understanding... Again, I could be wrong. My understanding yeah. is piers are parts of land that go out into water. Well, they're but, not land. But the activity going on... Or they're parts of the dry... You stay dry. Yeah. You're extending right. the land You're, by building the yeah. pier. So you just said parts of. But that's I just said. But that's what my pier is. No, you hold on. Let me finish. <laughs> it is. It is a part of. It's gonna be a dry, show, folks. It is a part of dry th- shit that you could walk on, but the activities that are done on that part of dry shit. Yeah. Are not maritime activities. They are land activities that I have they, extended over the water. Extended over to the water. You are you are doing carnival activities. Okay. You are doing ice cream cones. Name a land activity. Uh, go to hold hands with your best gal and watch the sun. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that on my pier. You do that on a pier. Now, when you start introducing maritime activities, when you start introducing, let's uh, let's dock a boat. Let's uh, let's jump off and go swimming. Let's jump off and go swimming. You now have a dock. Where do you guys stand on my Docker pier? I immediately go to the movie La La Land. That's a pier in La La Land. And if whatever you have is not like La La Land, wait, wait. then it's not a pier. <laughs> your, 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 point of, <laughs> your point of reference to what a pier is is the movie La La Land. Yes. That's pretty much it. Um, Ebo? Um, do you, How? Oh yeah, then, How? Just, hold on. Yeah, I don't I'm think what I have to say really yeah, matters right. at all. <laughs> what, Connor? What? I, I we can't watch the scene or anything, but there's Ryan Gosling. I'm looking at it right now. He's just walking down the pier with a hat in his hand, and then he does a little dance routine. That is a pier. So if you can't do a dance routine like Ryan Gosling on whatever you have, then I'm sorry, but it's I'll not. Tell a you what, if I once I get it installed, I have a guy coming Friday. If I can copy the Ryan Gosling dance routine on my piece of wood, will we call it a pier? Yes. You also have to get an elderly couple. This kind of goes back to what Titus was saying, where he was like, "Can I hold hands with my best gal? Yeah. They're, they're just kind of slow dancing on the pier as Ryan Gosling yeah. walks by. So you need an elderly couple, and you need to do a little dance routine with a hat. Can I have my kids stand in for the elderly couple? That's going to be a no-go. Yeah, we're gonna need an elderly couple. <laughs> have an elderly couple. Okay. I'm gonna need you to find an elderly couple. Okay, I don't know if peer. I'm gonna be able to find an elderly couple. All my elders are dead. Can you fit a Dippin' Dots on there, or can you purchase a Dippin' Dots to put on? I, need, I can I purchase. Do need, I do need an ice cream vendor on. Okay. Your <laughs> All right. If you have a peer. You have an ice cream. All right. Vendor. So, so what I need to do to gain peer status is I need to have a functioning business selling ice cream. Yes. And I need R- Ryan Gosling. Or someone standing in for Ryan Gosling and an elderly couple. No, no, no. You can be Ryan Gosling. Right. That would be someone standing in for Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I, I want you looking in the mirror and saying, I am Ryan Gosling. And tell yourself that. Now? No, just in general. For self-esteem. You uh, might be trickling into boardwalk territory. Whoa. Which, no, that goes uh, side. That goes parallel. But, that goes parallel. That never go, the boardwalk never goes over the water. Do you have a, can you get a rigged basketball game that you put? Can you just hold on real quick? I got to do something. I am Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I am Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I am Ryan Gosling. Good. That was good. All right. So, ice cream business, mm-hmm. Gosling, old folks, 
right? Yeah. Anything else? Are you are you getting a new boat? No, I have a boat. And you've this, been in my boat, is, and I don't like when a, you insult the, my yeah, boat. This is hysterical. The idea that you're building out like this big old pier for a boat that you just like hold over your head and throw into the water. <laughs> you, and, then when it's, and then when late fall comes around and the, the lake's about to freeze up, you just you pick wanna, it up and tuck it under your arm. You've walk, stood on my pier. Right into your garage. You've stood on my pier. So you need this big pier for that fucking thing. <laughs> so I have a pier, and I'm putting it in on Friday. All right. Awesome. Um, since it's a mostly show, do do y'all want to decide if I have the authority to kick Tate out of the family? Yeah, I don't know the specifics of this. You told me right before we came on air. Um, I was I must have been driving in as as all this went down. I didn't see it. We're but having it the sounds bar, bad. The it Barstool mini bad. golf today. Yeah, I'm competing. Uh, you somehow finessed your way out. You tricked him by saying you were going on vacation. How did well, you- uh, yeah, Hank said. Hank snubbed me, mm-hmm. um, and then I asked him what happened. He said, you were going on vacation. And I was like, I'm right here. Well, well no, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously not. I'm here doing the show. And he's like, well, damn. And then I said, but since you brought it up, you know, since I guess I'm not playing, and since you're going to think I'm on vacation, uh, I decided, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a vacation. Booked a flight tomorrow. this morning. Yeah, right? yeah. I, so I'm, I'm going to take the next week off. Um, no, yeah, it's a, it's a two-day thing, and I wasn't going to be here tomorrow. So mm-hmm. I said – and I was gonna win. So like, what what would yeah. what would have how would it have worked if I killed it today, and then tomorrow I'm like I kind of would have ruined the integrity of the second yeah, day. Yeah, because we would have all been wondering if yeah. somebody else won. Yeah, is this fake? Yeah, is Tiger. This- if you go into Saturday at the Masters and Tiger Woods has a four stroke lead on the field, and, and then, then he like, leaves for Barbados. Yeah, and he's like, I gotta go on vacation. It everyone would be very upset, and that's what. I would have. Done. I remember that happened in 2003. Tiger, Tiger was leading by four. Now, speaking of Tiger, are you and you are participating in this? Uh, you told me that you, in the same vein as Tiger not having sex in pre- preparation for the Masters, you haven't gotten laid in six months for this thing. <laughs> That's incredible dedication, Brandon. That's what it is, dedication. <laughs> it's not a coincidence at all. It's just uh, laser it's, focused yeah, on yeah, winning this this yeah. mini golf thing. Yeah. In fact, I haven't been allowed to sleep in the same bed. <laughs> I mean, I haven't slept in the same bed. That's my dedication. Uh, uh, so I got here this morning at six, and I went out there. The course was there. I started hitting balls on number one. I hit like three, and number two, I hit like three, and number three, I hit like thirty. Um, I was just hitting and seeing which way to go and where to go, and I thought that was what a practice round was. That's, I, I'm with you there. That's, that's my understanding. That's what a golfer round. does. Yeah. They go out and they 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 get on the green, they drop a couple balls, and they just they putt every angle. I thought that's what we could do. And Tate tweeted this morning, and uh, I'm not a snitch. Oh, now, now, well, now what's the problem? It so, says right there, I'm not a snitch. I'm not a snitch. That's a I. That, that's but good. I thought. One practice round per person meant you play the course one time. At least he did yesterday, not pointing fingers. Oh, he's not pointing fingers either? He this started both road. thoughts with the word not and then did exactly what he was not doing. Oh, I, I see the rest of the tweet now. Yeah, yeah he is a snitch. We've he got is, he is pointing fingers. Brandon hitting 100 balls for hole before everyone gets here. So I've been assessed a two-stroke penalty, which I Have can – really? I, yeah, I who, can. Who did that? Uh, Hank, he's not uh, – Hank doesn't know what he's doing. Hank Hank gave you a two- practice rounds or practice rounds. Hank gave you a two stroke penalty. Yes. And Dan using Jerry as his caddy. Uh huh. When Jerry took I think Dan also every single I think Dan also received a two stroke penalty for that. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. But not from Hank. From Dave, uh I think he sucked the rules official's dick or something. Yeah. It was it was it was a lot. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But the question is, can I kick Tate out of the family? Because we can't in this room, we can't be snitching on each other. Yeah, I that's that's a tough look. That's a tough. That's 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 very tough. Yeah. Um I think I think we have to do something. Yeah. I think you I think you have to kick him out. I think I think you have I, mean, I don't know if it's permanent, but like yeah. he's got to be Did you guys talk at all this morning, Brandon? Um I I didn't like what he did. I I I I said it was bitch made <laughs> and he was he was a snitch and uh yeah, and I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Tate's pr- biggest advocate probably in this room, and uh, I'm about to leave for a week, so I don't. He's gonna have to deal with the fallout. Not much you can do because you're going on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so good luck to him and trying to put these pieces back together. I don't know how that's gonna work for him. Um, yeah, I, th- I think he's got to be banned from the family. I don't. Maybe temporarily permanent, Brand. 
Temporary, tempor- temporarily, yeah, I, temporary. Because if you if you give him a temporary ban, he know he's he's, he's not going to take it seriously, and he's going to know that like whatever it will be a week, and then so I think I, a temporary Titus will come back, and yeah. then I'll just be back in in the mix, and everything will be fine. Um, a permanent ban feels very harsh because I think he was trying to, I think what he thought this was was just uh-huh. like a little ball busting, a little, yeah. you know, just a just we're all family and let's just be like brothers and just kind of. Mm-hmm. Ah, I got. <laughs> <laughs> And I think he he doesn't realize the extent of of what he did, so I think we we land in the middle and we give him a temporary permanent ban. What about a? It's a permanent ban, but it is temporary. What? Okay, so a permanent temporary. Ban. He's permanently banned from the family temporarily. temporarily. Yeah. What if he's twice removed? Oh, he's he's like not actually family. He's like a. <laughs> I mean, I you know he had a choice to do that this morning and he chose not to do it. So I, I I don't I don't know. I will say I put out a I put out a poll. Is Tate family? Uh two thousand votes, sixty one percent say yes. You know what I think he has to do is you know what family does. Family fights, yes. Family, whatever. We have our disagreements. Family also maybe we put together a list of things that family do do for each other in terms of like family picks each other up from the airport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or takes like, them to the airport in case yeah. they have vacation tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know how early my flight is, too? Oh you my think God. family knows how to put a peer in? Yeah. <laughs> family family helps you move. Uh, huh. Family helps you pack your shit when you're yeah. moving houses. Yeah. Family helps you. Yeah. Like what? What are some shit that you would only ask your family members? About? I like how you're using this for you. To get yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> he stabbed you in the back. And I'm like, how can I? How can I win here? Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Um, when I got here this morning, we are all wearing our family bracelets. Connor Griffin. Yeah. Who who, who who made these? Um, there was actually no from. There was no letter in in there that said who it was from. So they sent these. Thank you. Oh, if gonna, you want to DM us, this, by the way, Aaron. Aaron from Grand Rapids sent this in. I assume it's going to be Grand great. Rapids is a beautiful town. I love, I absolutely love uh, South Dakota. <laughs> Grand Rapids, uh, they got some businesses there, right? I feel like you get a lot of, you yeah. get a lot of, a lot of headquartered. Oh, you know what? I, I think I, I think it late at night when you're watching and they're trying to sell you something and they tell you the address at the end. It's always, it's always in Grand Rapids, Grand Michigan. Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. They can't, but, but. The Rapids can't be that grand, right? Those it are is. two pickleball. Wait, did he fuck around and put our logo on a pickleball bat? No. Oh, well, that would have been. Sorry. He just sent us a pickleball paddle. Just sent us a normal ass pickleball. Paddle. <laughs> yeah, just sent us a. So I guess we're just pickleballers now. Oh wait, there's a letter. Is there like a cash ex- prize explaining why we have a pickleball? Letter. That's on cardstock. Mark, you're crushing it at mostly sports. I who it's from. Thanks. Oh, it just says Mark. Just wanted to send a oh, pickleball paddle wow. your way in case you wanted to play at the office. Keep up the good work, Aaron. Oh, all right. Guess we need Does to. Does he work a, for the company? Maybe you could have sent us a pickleball court. It says, "Please send to Mark Titus." I. Uh, this is awesome. I do. I do enjoy playing That's pickleball just, every so weird. often. It's just weird because I mean. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. I, I'm, this is awesome. Uh, Aaron. Aaron, again, thank you. I'm right here. Thank you. Uh, I'm 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 right over here. There's two of us on the desk. I mean, I think he was being realistic about. I could play pickleball. That's the one sport I could play. I could play pickleball. I played it before. I played it in L.A. at the Super Bowl. You would be or Phoenix, one of the. You Super would be Bowl. huffing and puffing. Of course, I'm gonna huff and puff. But I could, I could, I could get through pickleball. Is this just his company? Because Nora is Aaron backwards. Whoa, whoa, holy shit! It might be. That and, was, oh my God! Are they are they headquartered in Grand Rapids? It's come full circle. You, I just said every fucking company is headquartered in Grand Rapids. Do you think Aaron, Aaron's from Grand Rapids? I think his I think his company is headquartered in Grand Rapids. All right. Anyway, mm-hmm. thanks for the pickleball paddle. I'll play Designed and headquartered in Michigan. Mm. My question is this: When it comes to sports, do you care how many people watch the? Um, the NCAA tournament championship uh, only women's. only when it benefits my argument. Okay, yeah, because that's what a lot of people are doing right now. Yeah. Oh my God, see that? Now I think this should be a celebration of the women getting the largest viewership they've ever gotten. Mm-hmm. I don't think it should be a celebration of the women getting the largest celebration they've ever gotten or the largest viewership they've ever gotten, and a condemn a condemnation 
of the men's game. Yeah. The men's game was on TBS. The men's game, like, did it to themselves. Now, you know, or the what I like to – I don't care how many people watch is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I, I said this before that uh, basketball has a problem of it's, – it's a crabs in the bucket mentality. It's fo- football rules everything. Yeah. Bas- like, NFL is 1A. Yeah. College football is 1B. Massive, massive gap, and it's every other sport. Yeah, fighting. every other sport, mm-hmm. and we're all fighting each other to to get the the love and attention of America when football's not on television. And basketball fights itself, and basketball fights itself, and it's crabs in a bucket. And instead of men's college basketball and women's college basketball and the NBA mm-hmm. and whatever shit they're pumping out of Europe and FIBA and all of it and whatever like three on three type bullshit iterations exist out there and all of it instead of all of it coming together and just like pulling in one direction as a sport and lifting it all up it is crabs in a bucket and the second one starts like you know because it, it, it works the same way it's like the women's have a monster rating and you'll see people that are that there are men's college basketball fans that are like who gives a fuck dude that's gonna go away when Caitlin clark leaves and then and, and we got to tear that down so yeah. now now you're up there i'm gonna pull you back down here and then the men's men's next year next year the men's will be back on CBS. Yeah. I'm sure Cooper Flag will will make college basketball uh a thing for a lot of people. I can't wait to hate him. Yeah. I the the ratings in college basketball this year this coming next year I should say are are going to be probably better. Um the tournament will probably reflect that and because it'll be on CBS it'll do a bigger number. And then the men's college basketball will start puffing our chests, mm-hmm. and then everyone will tear it down and be like, "That's only because of this and that." I don't know; it's stupid. Go ahead, Brandon. I've never lived on the beach in L.A. Okay, mm-hmm. we can establish it, it, it that. Shows. We, we all kind of already yeah. do that. You can um, I'm looking at you. You you have, yeah. I believe. Mm-hmm. Explain the crabs in a bucket parallel. Got to crabs. It. Okay. Oh, is it, it, where are they? <laughs> Let me finish, Brandon. You, okay. you keep cutting me off, and it's yeah. really pissing me off. Cause, Where are the crabs? Because I was about to say they're in a bucket. Okay. <laughs> now, well, how the cra- when you put crabs in a bucket, okay. crabs want to get out of the bucket. Do they know they're in a bucket? I think the crabs know they, they don't belong in that bucket. Okay, all right. They belong yeah. uh, on a beach somewhere. Right, not in a bucket. Not in a bucket. So they start climbing out of a bucket. Mm-hmm. And what happens is one crab starts to get halfway up he's gonna make it he's gonna make it Uh uh-huh and in an ideal situation in a utopian crab world the rest of the crabs would be going yeah Yeah. all right no jeff all right jeff (laughs) we were all hoping for this day that you would get out of this bucket yeah please come back and visit someday tell us about what's what's on the other side what instead happens you'll find in the crabbing world and a lot of the crabbers out there i know we have a lot of crabbers uh watching Mm -hmm. the show they they know this uh, this is Crab 101. The crabs will instead, in fact, reach up for Jeff, and they say, Jeff, get your fucking ass back here. <laughs> Where the fuck you going, Jeff? Dumb bitch. And they pull <laughs> Jeff back down. Right. And so what ends up happening is none of these crabs escape the bucket, and then some human being comes, takes the bucket, throws them all into like a boiling pot, and they all die. <laughs> so nobody gets out of the bucket? I don't know how you prepare crab. Do you throw it in a boiling pot? Oh, uh, like, yeah. Do, you do have a lobster. I, you cook them alive, right? You cook them alive? I, crabs, I, I don't know. I know you, you do smash them with a hammer. You could do. You, I, I, don't, I don't know. How you you know what? You're right. I did see a guy one time. You smash it with the hammer and then you rip it out and then you eat like the. the <laughs> Have you ever seen <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, that's right. You eat the muck out of it. <laughs> you, you eat the shit. You eat the shit first. Find that video. I need to see how to eat a crab. <laughs> you go straight to the shit. <laughs> you skip all the good meat <laughs> and go right to the feces. <laughs> I think it, it's genuinely one of. One of his best works because it's a how to eat crab and then it's just not how to eat crab. <laughs> Even if you don't know how to eat crab, <laughs> if you opened an animal up and saw that part, yeah. your mind should stop you. Don't eat that part. Yeah, there should be something evolutionary in our, our human brains. It's like, that's not good. <laughs> I think evolution I don't, skipped, skipped. I don't want to eat that. that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Lucas did fine in your stead yesterday, TJ. Good. Hopefully he didn't. What? Uh, yeah. How he he did okay. He was he doing a bit with the Mister Ed stuff. Yeah, he was doing yes. some bits. Okay. All right. Were you not catching on to that? He was pretending like he didn't He's know any. Very of the good at show. appearing to be stupid. I don't like bits. I'm not a bit. This isn't a bit show. Yeah. No, you're right. 
You're this right. isn't a this is uh brick by brick, not stick by stick. They say. As yeah. they as he's out there arguing that Dan should be assessed a two yeah. stroke penalty because something. Yeah. It's not stick by stick. Be sure to follow Miss Peaches on TikTok and, and so where she talks about her papa. I met Miss Peaches. Are, are we getting I saw her? her. I didn't meet her. Yeah. Hmm? Are we her. getting her in here? It would be good for the show. Oh, dude, that would be I'm sure she's she's busy. I I wouldn't want to bother her. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you wanna I mean, I'm not Okay, I want to I want to tell the line carefully because I I am not uh, picking sides in the Dave Fortnoy Brandon Walker mm-hmm. ongoing war. Um, I on the one hand I do a show with you. Mm-hmm. Where I, I I like to think that we've become close friends. Some might even say family. Mm-hmm. Um, on the other hand, Dave Fortnoy signs my paychecks. Right. So because of and that, those things are fucking big. And oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> I like those paychecks. He actually signs you like a comically large yeah, <laughs> yeah. check every yeah. Month. Every two weeks, I get it. <laughs> massive. Congratulations, yeah. you've won. Like I've won a golf tournament. <laughs> uh, uh, so I don't, I don't want to pick sides here. But I will say objectively, I'm not, I'm not condoning this idea. I'm just throwing it out there. If you get Miss Peaches to come into the studio, and say the words in plain English, family, the <laughs> microphone, <laughs> that would be a massive fuck you to Dave. <laughs> that would be a big time W. If we can, if we can get Miss Peaches to speak English, I'm not saying I want it to happen, Dave. For the record, I did not say I want this to happen. I think she might be upstairs. I was just objectively saying, if it did happen, that would be a W for Brandon in the war. So we'll. S- we could send somebody. Go look. We just need her for the thumbnail. We do just need her for the thumbnail. We could just put a picture of her in the thumbnail without her yeah. ever being on the show. That is true. You want me to take my camera? My phone? I I could go up. Yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. go up, Connor. I'm, I'm go. talent. Yeah. Well, Connor is too. Connor. Oh, you know what? I'll go up. I'll go up. Connor, take my seat. Connor, I'll, I'll go up. You stay there. You stay there. You take my seat, Connor. All right. Do you think she can Connor, play baseball? Connor, real quick. So help me God if you walk back in here without that dog or a picture of that dog. Okay, I got you. But we have to we have to get her on the show somehow. Yeah, and and do you think she can? Should you FaceTime it? No, that's not gonna be. Do you think she can say family into the microphone? I'm worried about that. Hmm. Does she speak English? She's from Atlanta, right? Is that where she's from? She's from the South. Oh yeah. yeah. So she probably has an accent. Well, family, family. Does Atlanta really have? Oh, now yeah. Atlanta's Georgia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I I wasn't sure if it was one of those like things where, like Charlotte is. Atlanta's not, not really North uh, Carolina. Either. Atlanta's not the South. Yeah. I love the uh, Atlanta's the very. I got I got caught in the conversation with Big T not too long ago about that. Um, yeah, and I made the, the I made the mistake of engaging because he was like, I don't know how Southern Big T is. <laughs> he said he said something like, uh, "Yeah, North Carolina wasn't the South." That so, uh, at yeah. some point he said North Carolina wasn't the South, and yeah. he, well, I don't even know if he was talking to me. And I was just like, "All right, well now I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna take the bait." North what? Carolina is very the South. I was like, what? Yeah. And he's like, no, no, no. Charlotte's not the South. Uh, I don't think. And then my brain just kind of shut off. Here's the South. Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia. All of Tennessee. All of South Carolina. All of North Carolina. The north half of Florida. The South stops at Orlando. There's nothing. Okay. Nothing south of Orlando is the South. Okay. Um, parts of Kentucky. Parts of Virginia. Mm. That's the South. And maybe Arkansas. Arkansas is also the South. Okay. Um, That's the South. Oh, what? That was fast. I kid you not, Miss Peaches is in a meeting right now. <laughs> I swear, she's in a meeting. I couldn't, I couldn't get her. She's, she's in the main conference room, <laughs> on her dog bed in the center of the room, and there's just a bunch of people I've never seen before in like sport jackets. At the table, I don't know what they're talking about, but I couldn't go in there. <laughs> She's in a meeting. Well, now we have to do like a I live. Gotta, I, I gotta. I gotta, gotta go check it out. Can we? How do you do the yak live cam? I, I could zoom. Can we do that? We can. Because now I have to see this, and, I, and like Brandon and I both have to see this, and we can't stop the show to see it. But also, you gotta go with your live. Cam. You got. We gotta yeah. do the live cam. There's not a single person in that room who I recognize. Um, yeah. Okay. You gotta. We gotta get a sneak peek of this now, because I. I <laughs> Don't you don't think this is supposed to be a secret, do you? It's a, it's a top meeting with a dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's like 
a Miss Peaches like brand meeting or anything like that. I think it's something to do with maybe like a potential. I don't know who it is. I and that's why I'd be hesitant to show it. Yeah, it's probably yeah. a client who's interested in sponsoring Miss Peaches. Right. Don't show it's ever on like the TV or whatever. All right, I'll just forget it. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. I I'll go back up in a little bit. Go check. You can go check in a minute. Yeah. Um, it was a, it was a bizarre sight. I was like, "Who the fuck are these people?" I like to imagine she's leading the meeting. Uh, yeah, the uh, yeah. They're just like, waiting for her to talk. I, like, <laughs> well, I understand. So I understand why Miss Peaches has meetings about her. Why is she in the meeting? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the funny part was I'm walking by the glass and Miss Peaches did like turn around and look at me, and then once she looked at me, then everybody in the room looked at me, and I was like, "Okay, I got to get the fuck out of here." I have an idea now. I have an idea. Um, it's a dog. It's a dead dog. <laughs> I have an idea. It's a spinoff comic after bringing home the bacon. Yep. Becomes a massive hit. Okay. Or maybe this is maybe this is a character. This is. You know what? This is. I got it. I got it. All right. So Carl Ham. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. The juices are falling. <laughs> Everybody buckle up. Carl Ham works in an off. So we've established Carl Ham is the only animal in this world. Right. Right. He's a, he's a pig in a human world. Mm. He works in an office. There's turns no, out. There's no other animals. Turns out we're the pigs. But. There is a top dog at his company. Uh, All right, huh. and the and the and and he's work and throughout the course of the comic strip, Carl Ham is interacting with all the humans. He's just like, God damn, I need a cup of mud, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the punchline, yeah. that's his catchphrase. Um, but then every so often the top dog comes in. Yeah, and when the top dog comes in. Um, the top dog's thing is it never talks. It's like a power move. The top <laughs> dog walks into the room. Yeah, and just shuts the door. <laughs> And everyone just gets nervous, mm -hmm. and they start talking first because, like, the dog is just sitting there in silence. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to like, impress the top dog. Like, uh, sir, uh, yeah, yeah, so, sir, uh, I, I know you're probably wondering where those reports are, sir. Right. Uh, so what, what happened is, sir, uh, and then they, they, they kill themselves. And then, like, the next guy goes, and he's like, ah, <laughs> uh, sir, so, uh, and the dog never talks. Yeah. And we do, and we run this bit for, like, three years of the comic strip. Uh-huh. And then somewhere along the line, we find out the dog doesn't talk. Because it's a dog, <laughs> and the dog could never talk, and it somehow just became the top dog. But is, it's because it's like everybody's intimidated by this. Dog. Is Carl Ham also intimidated by the dog, or is he comfortable around the dog? No, Carl Ham is the one person that realizes it's a fucking dog. Right. Okay, <laughs> and Carl Ham's losing his mind. And he's like, "Why? It's a, it's a dog. <laughs> How are we lighting a dog?" <laughs> I think we got legs. I think we got something. And Carl Ham just is going crazy, and everyone's like, "Carl, you're such a hater." We needed some life for the Carl Ham universe. We, we've we've kind of yeah. we've kind of uh, slacked on Carl Ham lately. Did you see they're bringing home the bacon calendar we got? No, Throw me that. I got I got to show y'all something y'all don't know about that I didn't I didn't notice yesterday. You revealed uh, this on the show yesterday. Uh yeah. Well, they they we had two packages uh, yesterday, so we got the bringing home the bacon calendar, and uh, first of all, I, shout out to the guy that sent it. He's awesome. He DM me. Um, not really a functioning calendar because <laughs> you can't, you can't. Oh, have, he printed, he printed. You can't have the days side. and the, uh, anyway, oh, no. um, he did, he did write certain days on the calendar. Uh, August 31st, day Creed release, take me higher. Oh, this is awesome. Um, let's the calendar see. starts in August. Um, I don't know why I started there. September, September 9th is Mr. Ed's birthday. Oh, and September twelfth is one year for mostly sports. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't look at uh, January. I'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget what day we started the show. Cause. Um, because <laughs> we were gonna start it on Monday. We were gonna start it on a Monday. 11. Yeah. You know, y'all are joking. It the calendar starts in March. Uh, I guess well, he he punted well, on the he, first two months well, of the year. He probably sent it in March. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, why would um, you, um, need a January 2024 calendar at this point? Uh he marked opening day as uh, March 28th. Okay. All right. Uh, for April, he marked um, Arbor Day for the thirtieth, and my dog Caesar's birthday. Nice. Notice he didn't didn't mark my birthday, which is in April. That's interesting. Or Connor's birthday, which is in June. <laughs> Your birthday's in April. It is. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's it's, uh, it's April now. That's interesting. It's this weekend. It, it right? probably already came and went. Not so the big I don't need to talk about it. Probably. I don't know why Spock's birthday is here. Because Star. Cause oh, Star May Fourth. Yes. Star okay. May Fourth. Yeah, Spock's 4th. birthday. Yeah. Spock. I I got hit with this question. Yeah, Spock, yesterday. be with you. I got hit with this question yesterday that I wanted to present to you. Okay. You love Star Wars. Indeed. Don't don't. 
<laughs> Don't talk like that. Okay. Indeed. 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 Excelsior. Indubitably. <laughs> you love Star Wars. Yes. Zynga. <laughs> Zynga. <laughs> Yet, when I bring up, whenever I bring up Star Trek... Your face gets serious and you get mad. You don't like Star Trek even a little Have bit. Have you tried Star Trek? So so my question is, why do you love and embrace and absolutely fall over one space-related fiction that has created a world, and yet you turn your nose up at the other? Mainly because it is somewhat of a rivalry in the nerd community. Mm-hmm. I did watch the J.J. Abrams reboot. I think it came out in 2009. It was good. Of Star Trek. Yeah, I, I watched that with my friends Josh and Matt for Josh's birthday party when he was nine. Oh, um, I love Josh and Matt. Yeah, 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 good dudes. But that was the only time I ever saw it. I don't remember the movie at all. It was just more so I was going to appease. Yeah, you have now veered off the answer. Why do you not like Star Trek? Because it's a, I, I, it was there was a reason why I didn't watch Harry Potter for years because I didn't want to give in to Harry Potter because there were people saying, oh, well, Harry Potter is better than Star Wars. Wars? Yeah. Yes. That's why I didn't watch comic book hero movies for a while. He, he grew up going to church camp, and now he's, he didn't want to go to college and be handed a pamphlet. Uh-huh. And so every t- he's walking around a college campus. That's and they're exactly like, right. And they're like, check out this pamphlet. And he's like, no, mom and dad wouldn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And he, he just didn't want to, he didn't want to expand his horizons. He, he, knew what he, he knew what he was. So you were loyal to a, a franchise that has made b- a, a trillion dollars – you're loyal to that franchise to the point you won't watch other franchises. Now I've started to get a little bit better with that. I, I, I would watch Star Trek Real now. quick, that, not a big deal. That's fucking crazy. Uh, sorry. It's okay. I, 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 I love Star Wars, and I want to do anything in my power to support it. Jackson Holiday got called up. <laughs> it's Young and, Core Day. Uh, we have, uh, we have delayed talking about it, and Ebo has done a hell of a job, as he always does. Um, mm-hmm. With not talking over there. Mm-hmm. Ebo, the floor is yours. But the floor is now yours, Ebo. Uh, yeah, this is uh, a great day. It definitely doesn't have to do with the fact that this is the last day they could manipulate his service time. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, really excited. This is the third number one prospect the team has called up in the last three years. So, Adley But R- now, now it's time. Like Adley Rutschman, who was the uh, second one? Gunnar Henderson. Gunnar Henderson, and now Jackson Holliday. Yeah, if you remember the picture we looked at in the fall, he was one of the blonde ones. The Cadens and the Jackson. Who's the Orioles manager? Brandon Hyde. Brandon Hyde. So is he is he now like the the John Calipari of of MLB? That's true. I, I think he's it's got more... all, he's got the number one. He's, he's got a bunch of number one recruits. Yeah. So if he, he, can't, he can't get it done, yeah. I mean, like you, you guys did, kind of fuck it up and. Yeah, but he has the advantage of, you know, his players will graduate. You know, he'll have yeah. them for at least four years. It's not, he's not like one and dones. You know. Yeah. But yeah, interesting. Is, I'm excited. The contract thing. So, what did they get by calling him up yesterday and not today? They get extra an extra year. Of, they delay his service time by a year, but if he wins rookie of the year, it doesn't even matter that they delayed because his service time. Because they waited until April 10th. Yeah. Or because they called him up before April 11th. Because they waited the two weeks, so they had to wait two weeks worth to delay his service time. That would be so. so stupid. Yeah. Uh. So how? Yeah. How big of a deal is this to you? Would you say? Ma- massive. I had to watch like two, for some reason, like I don't know. I I know the reason it was maybe late service time, but they put pulled pulled in Tony Kemp, who should not be playing Major League Baseball Is for this anybody. The best young core ever. How would I'm you, not talking, How would you measure young? I'm core? not talking about baseball. Is this the best young core of all time? How would you measure young core? Well, by, uh, by how the best young they are. Young cores I can think of. Hanson, Hanson back in the '90s was an incredible young core. Uh, uh, the Muppet Babies. Brad Pitt and Fight Club had a great young core. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was that was whew, um, tight core. very tight, dude. He was in awesome shape. The Earth at the beginning of the universe mm-hmm. probably yeah. had a great height. Yeah. Well, we don't know. The Earth might still be young. We don't know how long this motherfucker's gonna go. Yeah, true. Uh, this could be early. We're doing whoa. It. Oh, we're done. Yeah, I think we got like two hundred years. Huh. I thought we were supposed to be done the other day during the eclipse. Was was that a thing? Did the rapture happen? Um, no. Oh, what did it? Yeah, I don't know. That's everybody what here. What if? Well, what if the rapture is only just like five dudes? What? Like, like the rapture did happen. Like everyone thought it was going to be like a Thanos deal, where like half the world gets called up to the big leagues. Yeah. <laughs> but but really, who here would have really like up? really like God looked around? He was like, honestly, pass. <laughs> honestly, pass on most of you. I'll take like you two, I guess. And he like just t- he picked like. 
He picked like two dudes in in yeah. like fucking Brazil or something. I mean, there's only so many the scholarships. Here. Yeah, <laughs> two dudes in Brazil, and like two dudes in Brazil got called up, and like the rest of us are left here to. I don't as know. long as Dabo's still with us, I think they announced today the Brazil game this year is going to be a Friday night. That was, yeah, yeah. Or did we already know that? It was. We knew we were going to get a Friday night game. We knew we were going to get a Brazil game, but we didn't know it was going to be a Friday night in Brazil, right? We didn't know it was going to be Packers. Oh, okay, that's what we did. It was long speculated that it was going to be the Browns. Um, but, yeah, we knew it was going to be Friday. I no idea what Brazil. you were talking about when you said Brazil game. I thought you were talking about – NFL has a Brazil game this U.S. week. U.S. soccer or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's okay. awful. Um, before – what? A Friday night game in Brazil. So. I'm okay. Week one, throw a game on Friday night. Why not? Now, they are coming after high school football, which I don't like. But uh, <laughs> me and the uh, – First they came for college football. You said nothing. You said nothing. Then they, they came, came for our, – Yeah, what's next? They're going to they're gonna come for eighth grade football? Yeah, they might. Yeah. Well, they already have Thursdays. Most eighth grader, most yes. junior highs in Mississippi play on Fuck. Thursday. Oh, um, I uh, anyway, back to Jackson Holiday. I couldn't help but notice Ebo mm-hmm. a certain tweet that you liked. What did you like? Um, would be very family to send Ebo to the game since real Connor Griffin. But by, by the way, how did I just now notice that you do real C G C Griff as your real C Griff? Yeah, yeah. As, as just, I'm, I'm just in case to, anyone thought, yeah, I, I'm. It was. There was some I'm fake coming C to Griff. the. I'm, I'm, not, I'm coming to the realization. Scary. I hate everything about Connor. Griff. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are some fake C Griffs out there. I just wanted people to know. How that. many uh, fake C Griffs are there? Uh, about a dozen. Would be very family to send Ebo to the game since real C Griff got to go to Olivia Rodrigo, and then Brandon and I were both tagged on this. It has one like. Uh, <laughs> it's Ebo. <laughs> one, one like. Ebo, would you like to tell us something? Like, is there is there a rift in the family? I, like, I are just, you that guy had a good point? I do have to work tonight, so unfortunately, where are they playing? They make it in Boston. W- w- Why would we send you? Olivia Rodrigo? Was in Chicago. <laughs> we didn't send him to Boston to see yeah. Olivia Rodrigo. What uh? When do, when does he get home next? Well, that would be the game to go to, right? Uh, you mean in Baltimore? I think yeah. they're they're on a ten game stretch right now, so not till. Probably after like April fifteenth or something like that. I I'm 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 kidding you, but I know when they, I know when they're in Baltimore next. Why don't you go ahead and look under your seat? There's a body armor. Why don't you it's go ahead and look awesome. under your seat? No, under the seat. No, the 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 cushion. Yeah, just look under the yeah. Look under the cushion. Yeah. No, under the. Do you need me to get up? Here. Yeah, get up. Look under yeah. the. I'm being lifted. Is this a ticket? No, look under. No, look under. Behind. I think it was behind, it was right? Behind, behind. Look behind the couch. Oh, oh, this. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's go. Uh, Let's see. No, I, I didn't get you tickets. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fucked. But I would. I want to talk about it. Oh, let's, no, I'm let's, looking at We're talking about it. We want to talk it out. I just, I just wanted I wanted the, the dramatic moment. <laughs> How was that fucked up? You did that to us, Connor. I did that very thing to us. You that, sure did do that to us. That exactly piece of shit. You did that to us. I, that same thing to us. I, I said, look under, look, look under the frame. It was on the a frame. fucking wild goose chase. It said, you're going to Creed. There were no tickets there. Were there were no tickets. Did we have those yet? Yes. There was the whole reveal when I revealed the tickets on the show. I know, but. No, I. Uh, okay, I, all right, listen. I, I want to, we want to send, we're going to send Evo to an Orioles. May 23rd, 24th, 25th. They're at the White Sox. It, that, that doesn't have the same impact. Nah. That's Memorial Day weekend. When do they? Oh, they play Friday at home. You That's know, the Jackson Holiday debut. Could you go to that? Well, what are we gonna fly him out there? You spent a thousand dollars on Olivia Rodrigo tickets. Uh, <laughs> on we didn't on just one <laughs> on fucking. They got a shirt for his on debut. Half of one. We'll get you the shirt. That's an awful lot of. Price. Oh yeah, I'll, if you can get me the shirt, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I I do want to do something for Evo, but also. The ask. What if we can just get him Jackson Holiday? The ask of sending him to Baltimore versus just letting Connor. I got it. Just go down the road. I mean, the the concert was right over there. That I got was it. Part of the. You ready? Go ahead. We send him to Olivia Rodrigo. She's going to Ireland soon. Fuck! Hold on. I've never been to Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I, I guess there's nothing we can do. Yeah. Fuck it. Some you win you know some, what? you lose some. You know what? I understand. Yeah. Uh, the Angels broke out a home run halo that glows. It's a, it's a halo that they put around um, 
That's awesome. I put I, someone booed this last night. They booed the Halo. Someone booed this last. Why can't you boo the Halo? I think Titus gave the throwing up emoji. I, I uh, was I throwing up? Did, did he did he complete the throw up or was he nauseous? What I did I did I did a completed throw up. I I go, I go back and forth on both of those. What's the emoji? I don't know if it I did green face or if I did full throw up. Which one are you doing, Sam? No, that guy's vomiting, man. That vomit's. I did. I did full throw yeah, up. Okay, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, so that what that means is that I really didn't like it. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, it's not a halo. That's why I don't. One, I don't like. This is this is played out in general. Like yeah. the 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 turnover chain, the shit is is so played out. Number two, that's not a halo. That's a headband. A halo. Levitates above your head. But that, we don't have the technology, Tyler. Exactly. Oh, we absolutely do, dude. Well, how do we have you, the technology you've for You've never halos? seen floating baseball? Where's floating baseball? Look up the floating baseball desk toy. I have a floating Rutgers helmet. We don't head. have, we don't have technology to carry around a floating halo that we can go from head to head. But Big Cat had a floating thing on the Yak once. Mm -hmm. We have floating baseball. Why don't we okay. have floating, floating if the, hat? If the Angels are going to do halos, I think it opens up for other teams to do. Stuff with their name. Beaks. Oh. What what would be the best team to lean into their The Padres should have a home run? Yeah. Madre? Uh, the, the Cubs should have a live bear. A live bear. Dugout. You become a live bear. Mm -hmm. The Dodgers should have to not go to war if you're drafted. Is that what the Dodgers means? <laughs> no, it was trolley Dodgers in Brooklyn. Oh. Uh. The Mariners should have to go on a around the world cruise. Mm -hmm. The Yankees should have to uh, colonize. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh, a brave could could just scalp his opponent. <laughs> just take an actual tomahawk out and. No, uh, is that problematic? Uh, <laughs> it's their name. It's not mine. I didn't. Ah, oh, dude, fuck that, fuck. Tampa, you have to, you have to. Get stabbed you have to, you have to kill one of the Irwin family. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Off camera, though. You have, to, you have to get rid of the footage after. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, you're on the Tampa Bay race. You hit a home run, and you're rounding third, and you're just like, oh, no, god damn it, no. Bend the Irwins at the plate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're breaking her out. <laughs> you just take the bat and beat the shit out of her. <laughs> like, I have to do this. I'm so sorry. This is it's now four to one, Tampa. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Bendy. Uh I don't know why that's so fucking funny. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh boys. Family. I Good have luck. To, we're we're pulling for you. Are we pulling for Brandon? Sam Decker did just reply to your peer tweet, by the way. Oh. Really? Yeah, he sure did. Is he a peer guy? Uh he said own Lake Michigan or an inland lake. Uh it's an in I mean, come on, Sam. You think you think Brandon Walker's got <laughs> property on Lake Michigan? All right, Sam. Just where? We should get Sam on the show. I'm sure he's around during the summer. I can't. Uh, it's an inland lake, Mr. Decker. It is inland. I like how this is going to change his. <laughs> I hope he just keeps replying, wanting more information. Well, uh, so <laughs> we're kind of. <laughs> how muddy is the shoreline? <laughs> oh. Mm. Almost made a really bad dad joke. Okay. Thank God you didn't do that. that Decker, I hardly know her. <laughs> Good luck, Brandon. Good luck, Brandon. Good Bye, luck Brandon. You. Go kill it out there. Go beat the shit out of Tate. In Start golf. a fight. There's not enough golf fights. Yeah. Who's uh? What's the what's the bench clearing golf brawl? Actually, hold that thought. I'm gonna talk about DraftKings and then we'll um. I don't know why I I have I've gotten into a habit of saying hold that thought before I do ad reads, and I'm saying it to other people in the room when really I'm saying it to myself. It's very stupid. Mm. I'm telling. I just told TJ to hold that thought, and TJ looked at me like. Buddy, I've been holding it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. I. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, all right. Uh, DraftKings, an action packed fight card is taking over Las Vegas for UFC 300. And DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any UFC. 300 bet download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code family new new uh, customers can bet five bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code family the crown is yours uh what yeah what is UFC uh it's gonna be awesome UFC 300 hell yeah 
We have MLB. Um, Masters. People around here bet on baseball like that? Um, yes, certain people. Yeah. You're a certain type, like, there's a certain type of person that likes yeah. baseball gambling. Like, Clemmer loves it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of, like, what we shift, like, now that college basketball's over, what do we shift into in terms of, uh, game, like, Masters, obviously. Golf becomes a a, a big one, right? Masters yeah. is big. And then there's, like, Cinco de Mayo weekend always long. Oh, yeah. That's where the... you have derby, you have a fight, right. you have baseball going, you have basketball. That's, like, the Equinox weekend. Yeah. Basketball playoffs. That weekend rocks. Yeah. UFC 300 will walk, will, will walk as well. <laughs> will walk. Yuri Francis, Francis is 12 under already. Oh, Francis is? Or 16. There's some low scores out there. Wow. Do you Kirk think it's under? Uh, Jerry showed everybody the optimal way to attack every single hole <laughs> and just completely took away the mystique and intrigue of how to attack a putt-putt hole? No, because he's going for hole in once. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't think what? I don't think the strategy in the actual putt putt tournament is to go for a hole in one every single time. Jerry was going for a hole in one every single time, okay. and it went out of bounds a shit ton. So yeah, I, I don't think it was that. But then he bad. honed in on like the line on which line to take. I don't know. Again, to get a hole in one, which after would be dozens lowest, of reps this is the lowest score you can get yes but it was after dozens of reps and in this you're not going to get okay. dozens of reps okay that's my unless side. you're brandon walker in the practice round <laughs> yeah that's then a... you do get your dozens of reps in yeah uh evo i uh i did mostly sports uh with jeff d low in arizona on monday um and we were talking a little bit and i i really wanted you there to have this conversation and now you're here so i'm gonna have the conversation with you um, hold on. Eh, never mind. Um, we were talking about the pitcher's arms falling off. Uh, what's going on there? <laughs> uh, First question: Why? Uh, we were trying to figure out like what's the what's the what's the solution for this? Like what? Because the the MLBPA is like we need to get rid of the pitch clock, which might help, but I I I don't know how pitchers are going to. How how can you get to a point where pitchers are going to go on the mound with the mindset of like I shouldn't throw as hard as I can and also torque my arm as hard as I can to generate spin rate? I yeah. should I should dial it back a little bit. That's not gonna you can't no. do that, right? The pitcher might be going the way of the running back. Where... Yeah, you just 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 throw any schmuck out there and yeah, who cares? We'll have like five guys. Our entire organization will throw a hundred. One gets hurt, we'll bring up another yeah. one. Yeah, this is all. I mean, this is all the nerds' fault. I don't want to – we can blame the pitch clock all we want, but I think we should just blame the nerds. And it's the nerds' fault. I, I agree. It's completely the nerds' fault, uh, but also how and why is it the nerds' fault? Um, because uh, analytics was meant to, like, leverage um, market inefficiencies. Like, that's the whole point of Moneyball. It's not about, like, walks and stuff. And so they're like, people aren't throwing hard enough. Like, you can get more here because there's an inefficient market in pitching development. So now everybody throws, they close that gap down, everyone throws 99, but they didn't really consider the fact that throw, everyone throw a 99, no one should. No one no, should. Your arm, your arm is not designed to throw 99 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you can stretch the physical limits of your body to do it doesn't yeah. mean you should. Now, there are things where it's like, yes, like your muscles do need time to recover. Like that is a, a, a real thing, but also like no one should be, no one should be throwing 100. Yeah. Like, Aroldis Chapman came into the league throwing, like, 100, and we were all like, holy shit, this is the I guess that confused me because... Like ten the, of those guys. How does Aroldis Chapman... Is he still pitching, by the way? Mm -hmm. yep. He's on the Pirates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he bounced around a lot after the He's Pirates. throwing hard again. That's what I... Like, I, I don't... One that guy's been again. throwing over 100 for how many years now? Yeah. How is his arm not just completely... Yeah, he ball? threw... It kind of did. He threw 105 when he came up, and everybody was like, oh, my fucking God, he's the best pitcher of all time. Yeah. And then as soon as his speed started to decline a little bit, he was getting destroyed. destroyed yeah. And then he got hurt, and then he was horrendous when he came back, had, like, more blown saves than saves. And then now he's bouncing around the league and also grabbing his grandma's boobs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that was... That. Uh, maybe that's what's wrong with baseball. We need... We need more. We're grabbing too many boobs, or we need more boobs grab. More. I, I'm not boobs. sure. I think it's something we need to test. BPM. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, TJ. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Some people are saying it's Trevor Bauer's fault, which speaking of like drive. the invention of driveline baseball is. Well, you you say these things. You need to drive line baseball. To, you need to elaborate. Like, You're just like I like using. We're not all nerds. Using plyometric balls and weighted balls to try to like up your exit velocity, like oh. really stretching limits of how far your arm can stretch backwards. Yeah. Trevor Bauer's analytic breakdowns of his own pitching. It's like the nerdiest stuff ever, and it makes sense why like a pitcher would want to know this sort of stuff. But it's like. Some guys just throw the ball. Yes. He, like, analyzes, like, every single possible rotational angle of everything. Yeah. Like, mood sw- he tracks his mood swings. He tracks his sleep patterns. He tra- uh, it's like, at some point, there is yeah. an overthinking aspect to it, yeah. I think. Yeah. Throw a strike. I, as a nerd, I, I do want to say the nerds have ruined sports. Like, baseball... Oh. Baseball was just, like, grab your nuts and throw it as hard as you can. It wasn't like, all right, if we get an extra angle here, right. whatever. So now we have an issue, a growing issue in baseball with the longevity of pitching and what are we going to do with pitchers long term because it's not sustainable for everyone to throw 100. Yeah. Basketball nerds are like, just shoot, just shoot threes. Shoot it's, threes. It's more and, than yeah, twos. Yeah. And now you have an issue in the NBA where it's like everyone's scoring 30. So if everyone's scoring 30, no one's scoring 30. No one's special. So like there's almost too much parity in the NBA now where everyone is like having these like monster numbers and it's like oh no one's playing defense yeah it's well, a it's a solved game yeah yeah everyone figured it out so there's no i don't know like there's no differences like there's no one that stands out from the rest i i've used this uh th- this way of framing it a million times um i it, it's it's a it's a debate of like do you see or, uh sports as an art or a science and for me and for the way sports have worked forever is that it is more of an art and yes you're trying to win the game but like what made sports so fun to watch is that you put a problem in front of a team which is win this baseball game win this football game win this basketball game um and it's like putting like a puzzle or it's like dumping a bunch of like tools onto a table and it's like we have to turn this screw but you can only use like all of these things and then like now everyone has to put their brains together and figure out the best way to do it and over time everybody figured out like the optimal way to do it. And now you don't get to see like the brainstorming aspect of sports where like dudes are just like, here's how I think you do it is I think you do it this way. And and I think the best way to throw a, a pitch is to submarine style and fucking just, just fucking throw it from down here. And other dudes are like, no nah, dude, the way to do it is you, you're up here from the top and you, you got to throw some junk dude. And it's like, no dude, don't throw junk. Just fucking throw it right by him. And uh, that's what sports were. It was just a bunch of dudes that were like, Here's how I'm going to go about it. You do you. I'm going to do me. And then somewhere along the line, the nerds got introduced, and they're like, you're all doing it wrong. You should do it this way and this way only. And they're kind of right, but it, it, at what cost? It's yeah. become a science, and it's like, it, yeah, instead of instead of watching people figure out how to solve the problem, sports are now, I'm going to hand you the solution, and then I'm going to put you into this position, and now you follow this this solution to the problem that I've already given you, and let me watch you... Who can be the best robot, basically? Here's the solution. Now go out and be a robot. Which one of you is the best robot? And I don't want to be the soccer defender on here, but that I think is something that people love about soccer is it's a, it is more art than yeah. analytic right you now. You can't really you can't really make it analytic. Like how do you Yeah, you you can they're, you, they're there, trying. There, there are strategies that are they're sure, but like um yeah, they are trying, but like you can only do it to a certain extent, at least so far, I'm sure. They'll find a way. But, like, every country, like, if you watch the World Cup plays, like, a, a completely, not a completely different style, but a different yeah, style yeah, of, yeah. of soccer. Yeah. Yeah. Some teams just park the bus. And so that, that is one of the cooler things about the World Cup is that, like, every country does have their identity. Yeah. That, like, when you, you know, you know right now that in 100 years when the World Cup happens and Brazil takes the field, you kind of have an idea of what you're going to see from the Brazil soccer team. And you kind of have an idea of what the Greek soccer team is going to look like. Just a bunch of just fucking bulky dudes that are physical and, you know, not trying to score goals. They're just trying to fight people and park the bus. Um, yeah, nerds are in sports. I agree. <laughs> I completely agree. Uh, see, one last thing on this. Did you see what Verlander had to say, basically, on this? No. He was really. talking about creating incentives tied to pitchers going deeper in games or recording like a certain number of outs basically your dh is tied to your pitcher if your pitcher doesn't get through the sixth inning you lose your dh pretty much whoa but hold on would that be a good thing because then you're going to ride your pitcher's arms even more yeah 
right? Then you're right. going gonna to burn these guys out even more. Right. He was basically saying, like, all right, disincentivize throwing hard and incentivize yeah. getting Yeah, but, but that's what I, I think, like, that you can't you can't um, put the toothpaste back in the bottle. You yeah. can't put the genie back the in tube. the bottle. In the tube. Yeah. What else? is What's another one? You can't. You can't undo hmm. crackers in the sleeve. Yeah, you can't put the crackers back. That's a great one, Connor. You can't yeah. put the crackers back in the sleeve. Uh, once, uh, like, you can't un- uncondition a pitcher's mind. Once, once they've been conditioned to like step on the mound and and fucking bring the heat. Like, I, I don't. I, you can't like, you can't tell a guy like take a little bit off of this one. I don't. I don't know how that's gonna work. You know, like yeah. I, I don't know how you can. You, you can't as a team. You can, like, if you're managing the team, you can theoretically tell your guy, like, hey, let's we, we want you to go seven, so dial it back a little bit. But the second you throw, if you're a guy who's, like, normally touching 99 with your fastball and you throw a 95-mile-an-hour fastball and just get fucking rocked, you're, you're immediately just going to go, fuck that, dude, and just start throwing hard again. Yeah. Because I, I said that to Jeff, too, which I'm curious your thoughts, Evo, because you are the nerd here and the baseball guy. Um, is it better for a pitcher – to have your arm completely fall off and you you're like a Steven Strasburg where it's like you you're you're hurt all the time but uh when you're on like you are very good and everyone knows it or dial it back and just get shelled but you're never really hurt it's better to like get hurt right yeah yeah it's definitely better to push the it's better to, of your it's body. better to demonstrate in small windows that you have talent but then you're put on the shelf for a long time than it is to like say like listen man I kind of suck but like I can I if you guys ever need me I'll be here <laughs> like that's not so like pitchers are always gonna be like dude I'm gonna if I'm on the mound I have to do whatever I can to get these outs because like the idea of dialing it back and getting rocked is then you get the stink on you that you can't get outs and your ERA is like seven point four or something and that's just what you become it's better to be the guy that's like yeah his arm fell off and we only got him for like four games this season but um. God damn, was he good when he was out there? I don't know. I don't know. Um, How was it out there in Arizona, by the way? You doing the show with Jeff and then obviously on the court with Jake Marsh and everything. And I don't know. It was all right. I got food poisoning. I went and got wings, uh, and they hurt my tummy. Mm. I had a tummy ache. I had a really bad tummy ache. And I don't want to get too graphic because, like, it's, it's one of those deals where it's like, it is TMI, and I think there are a lot of people that might be eating an early lunch. Um, maybe on your on the West Coast, you're eating breakfast. Like I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the meal you're having. Um, and it is TMI. It's like very disgusting. Uh, but I, dude, the amount of shit that was coming out of my ass, and and the puke, I'm puking and I'm shitting and I'm shitting while I'm puking, and I'm, the toilet is just like I'm just d- disgusting mess of puke and shit everywhere. And uh, yeah, I had that going on for like a full 36 hours of. Uh, I actually, true story, I I was hugging a, this is how bad it was. I was on the floor of a public restroom hugging a toilet. It was a public restroom, and people were coming in and out as I was in a stall hugging a toilet, <laughs> puking, and I'm puking, and I'm shitting, and I'm puking, and then I'm puking again, and I'm, and I'm coming. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I'm fucking snotting, and I'm spitting, and I'm bleeding. Um yeah, I was I was I was puking and then I had to shit, so I stopped puking and I started shitting and it was crazy. So on Saturday at the brutal. Barstool Live show, at yeah. at the Barstool Bar, yeah, I noticed you were doing the headphones off, lock in. Yeah, how close? How soon after you walked off camera did disaster start? Oh, I puked. I puked within ten seconds. Really? Of, yeah, yeah. I, I I thought I had to shit when I was on the air, but then I actually had to puke and then. Um, <laughs> And then I went straight to the hotel, and just like, yeah, that was my entire Saturday. It was just getting the poison out. I don't know what happened. Yeah, and then I was like shivering in my bed all night. So is that is that what you meant when you asked how it was? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was? No. So I I dealt with that like basically all day Saturday. Um, Sunday was fun. I don't know. It was it's like really spread out. We were staying in Scottsdale, which I like Scottsdale a lot, but it's just like when when there are events. When there are events in Phoenix, the idea of it seems way more fun than the execution because they they put the 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 football stadium where the Super Bowl was and where the Final Four was is in Glendale. People generally stay in Scottsdale, and even if you don't stay in Scottsdale, you stay in Phoenix, which is not particularly close to Glendale, and it just becomes like a whole 
a whole pain in the ass to get out there. The, the Uber to get from where we were staying, and we were staying in like a prime location where a lot of the college basketball media types were. There were a lot of Final Four people around. Um, so it wasn't like we were purposely staying away from everything. We were staying where people were staying. Um, on, on on Monday night when I took the Uber to, to go to the game, it took over an hour to get there. And it wasn't – I mean, traffic was kind of bad, but it was like – Fine. It was just so far away, um, and I I hate that because you know the the best Final Four is like next year it's in San Antonio, uh, which say what you want about San Antonio as a city, um, I don't really have a problem with it, but some people are like, yeah, that's what, San Antonio, why not have it in a cool spot like Miami or something? Yeah. Oh, oh, get your camera, Miss Peaches. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Get her in the room. Get her in here. Um, Miss Peaches is coming. Yeah, San Antonio, though, is San Antonio, New Orleans, and, and India are the three cities that they have the Final Four, where it's, Dan talks about this all the time. You, 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 you land, you take the Uber downtown, or where the, where the event is, you get out of your Uber, and, and you're done until it's time to go back to the, to the, and Vegas will be that way, too. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I like it when it's in those places, where it's like everything, like when, when, when someone you know, like in the college basketball world, texts you, what are you doing tonight? I don't want to think, like, all right, where are you staying? Like, how far is that Uber? How expensive is that here? I want to be able to just, like, walk over and, and do that. So um, that kind of sucked about Phoenix. But otherwise, it was – now I'm, I'm now answering a question that none of you had. Connor asked the question, then he left the room. So, fuck it. You a uh, you throw-up guy? Am I a throw-up guy? Yeah, like, are you are you throwing up a lot? Like, once a year, twice a year? Uh, I, I don't have the – some people have uh, – problem with like pu- like they feel like they need to puke and they can't i if i need to puke i can puke right away yeah, yeah. i actually i realized i'm a i am a bodily function on command guy because i was i realized that with the uh fart the fart eliminator situation on the yak which are you are, are we doing that oh you haven't been here either the you've big been out cat, the- big cat game time decision i think maybe today maybe tomorrow maybe because i'm about to leave dude i want to do the fart eliminator you, you keep saying you want to do it but you realize after you fart you're supposed to leave I thought you can leave. I didn't. I didn't know you. Yeah, you, you have to leave. Right, you can't leave until you. Oh, I'm can. trying to break records, dude. I'm trying to. I'm trying to have a fart elim- eliminator performance. I would. Holy like a- shit, that no one's ever seen before. Holy oh, shit. Oh, Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. What's happening, Miss Peaches? Put her in Brandon's seat. Or that. Yeah. Put her on the couch. Yeah. P- oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this oh, 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 <laughs> Dog on the show, folks. Oh, my God. oh we got. She oh, we got, got a baseball. Ball. Yeah. She's, oh, she got the baseball. Miss Peaches. Miss Peaches. Holy yeah. shit. All right. And now she's out. What an appearance. What an appearance. Oh, my God. Miss <laughs> Peaches. Just that easy. We just got a million views. Holy shit. Oh, I, yeah. I got her to say family, too. Hmm? Caked up? Yeah, that sounds like, yeah. Atta boy, Hebo. That was awesome. She oh, did, she did, she kind of just robbed us, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she did take the she baseball. She kind of just, like, walked in and took a baseball and walked out. Um, Woman that knows what she wants. What else is going on in the sports world now? Did, did I miss anything when I was stuck in the college basketball vortex? Is anything going else going like baseball does feel like it's sort of falling apart, but I hate that. Uh, I, I, I is, is baseball actually falling apart or is that just like I, I hate when people get when there feels like there's a perception that like because this happens with college basketball, too. It feels like there's a perception that like the sport is not good right now. And then you just kind of pile on to everything. Um, but it does feel weird that like every baseball headline right now seems to be the arms are falling off. Uniforms are, are are bad again. Um, I I saw this. You put this on the sheet that the the Riley Green shredded his pants sliding mm-hmm. into the home plate. <laughs> Did you see the video? Um, no, the video is shocking. It just feels like everything coming out of baseball is bad. And then I throw on Cubs games every so often this, this season, and I'm like, I don't know. This feels like baseball to me. Didn't the Cubs? The Cubs weren't they up like eight to nothing, and then they lost. Shut the fuck up, Connor. No Listen, one asked. No, I did. I ask you if the Cubs were up eight to nothing and blew an eight-run lead against the Padres the other night. Oh, that's bad. That's insane. That's not even a. That's not even an unusual slide. That's a very standard play. Yeah, that's routine. Oh my god. Is he wearing full-length tights? 
Probably a little chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They have to do something about this. They can't. They won't. Someone's dick is going to be seen. So, so we're going to see dick. <laughs> Maybe that's the, yeah, that's the long play. They know sex sells. They're trying to get more dick in baseball. No more ass and dick on camp. Yeah, get us more ass and dick. Um, what else? What else is going on? Hold on a second. Hang on. I'm working on something. Um, let him cook. Let me cook. I'm, I have someone working on something for me, and I'm trying to see what they're reporting back. Connor, what's that hat? Yeah. This is a mostly sports hat, 47 brand. It is unbelievable. And I, TJ, I, that's all I can really say about it. I don't know much else about it. It was delivered to our studio, and who knows when it will be available to the public, hopefully sometime soon. We're also taking back red hats. We are taking back. Oh, red we have we we're, have, we're, we have a red one. We're red hats now. We I red hat thing most of sports. I love this hat. Oh, uh, are there more? Oh shit! There's another one. You think red hat? Oh. Alternate logo. Yeah, the alternate logo. This one rocks. Both of them do, but this one. Oh, that's great. This one plays. I love it. We, we we're selling these now. No, we have to talk about what okay. we're going to sell them. Perfect. I think maybe Monday might make the most sense because today and tomorrow are overwhelmed by mini golf promotion. Yeah. We're going to get lost in the flood. And then Fridays I don't love because less people watch and also it's into the weekend and then it gets lost in the weekend. Okay. So maybe Monday. I don't know. We could talk about it. I like Monday. All right. I hate Mondays. <laughs> yeah. Grr. Personally, I hate Mondays. Um, is that how you also after uh, paydays usually it sells better? Do you do that on oh, purpose? It's over his headphones, bro. Okay. That's a... What is that? How we should be wearing them? Uh, is it? Oh, is this offensive? Is this a bad look? <laughs> Unbelievable! Is that... I, I heard you had a, a an all time horrendous performance at the bar watching basketball over the weekend. What? That's what, oh, the, streets saying. That's what the streets are saying. Malice sec. Yeah. I heard I heard you put up a, 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 <laughs> just a, a disgusting performance at the bar. Would, yeah, you, oh, would you like to address this before I tell you what I heard? That, Specifics? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell it. We're out at a pizza bar. We're all ordering pizza. Me, I like to get just plain cheese pizza, but this place didn't have plain cheese pizza on the menu. Because it's not a Chuck E. Cheese. Maybe. They only had, uh, <laughs> oh my God, I'm blank. Margarita. They only had margarita. So I asked. I asked the waitress when she came around. I was like, I prefaced it. I was like, this might be a dumb question, but could I get a plain cheese pizza and would it be possibly cheaper than the margarita? And she said, well, you can get one, but it would actually be more expensive. And I said, okay, then I'll just get the margarita. And Malasek was there, and he was, like, ashamed of me. And I was like, I don't get what the problem with that is. He's like, dude, like, you're trying to save, like, $2. You're trying to save $3. He's like, would you want the plain cheese pizza? And I said, no, because the margarita is cheaper. And he's like, okay, well, then that's just a stupid answer. And so we had this whole back and forth. And then there was another point where I did – I brought out – I had earbuds. Yeah, I cared less about the pizza, and I care more about this one. Go ahead. I, I always carry earbuds in my pocket. Because if there's a situation where I need to post something or there's a video I need to watch and I'm out in public, Fair. I plug in my earbuds. So there was there was a point in the night. It was dead. You know, we had been there for hours. And we're all just kind of like on our phones chilling, waiting for the game to come back on. It was when it was Iowa and UConn. And uh, a video dropped of Olivia Rodrigo on stage with Noah Kahn, who were two of my favorite artists. And they were singing together. And I was like, I kind of want to watch it. So it was just a, a quick 20-second clip. So you pulled out wired headphones at the bar with the boys watching basketball, were, plugged them into your phone. It was a co-ed table. Yeah, they were and and you watched an Olivia Rodrigo video. No, I, I didn't even get a chance to because Malasek was like, I swear to God, if you put those earbuds in, I'm going to kill you. Because uh, this was after the pizza thing. and the, the, So, yeah, if you want to say it was a, a bad performance at the bar, sure, go ahead. Mock what says what we're saying. Yeah, it's a bad performance. But that's I don't know. I, I still like to think I brought some energy to the table. I was mingling with the, the tables around us. I was giving high fives and you know, we were all locked in on the game. This was at a, a break in the action, and I was like, Yeah, fuck it. I'll I'll 
bring out my headphones. Connor at the bar is fun. Listen, I, I enjoy being at the bar with the fellas. I enjoy, you know, having a drink. Maybe two. But sometimes, yeah, I, I do weird stuff, and I apologize. Titus, you've never come out with us to the bar, have you? No, I've never been asked. I have to be asked to go out to bars. Oh. Not, I, there, will, there will never really be a situation. I'll go out. I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll set up dinners with you guys. We'll, we, can, we can do dinner and stuff. But, like, there will never be a situation where you will get a text from me, like, what, what are you What are you boys doing Saturday? You want to go get fucked up? WT. Uh, what's the move? Yeah, well, yeah. What's the What's the move, guys? Where Where's the party at tonight? Um, but there will be situations every so often at this point in my life where, if you If you ask me, I might be in the right headspace. Where I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'll go out with the boys tonight. But I'm never I'm never gonna be the one that's like, let's do this. What are you doing Saturday? Yeah, I'm gonna be on a beach, <laughs> chilling. You're gonna miss out on shopping day, brother. Oh, shopping day Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably would have gone to that. Yeah, Shopping Michael Greer. Special. Greerzy will be here today. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe we have him on tomorrow or thir- or Friday, whatever. Oh. Be- <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not. He would fit in well. Greer co-host. Yeah, in this. I've never met him, and and he's going to leave by the time I get back, huh? You it, cross paths today. Yeah. If he's, I, I'll text him and try and set something up. I mean, I'm I'm leaving this Guy office. Hate in the and, office. I'm leaving this office in like 15 minutes. Oh. And I'm going to. I'm on vacation right now. I'm just working. Mm. I'm working because Brandon said he had to go golf today. So he's like, I can't, I can't do the show today because I'm gonna have to do the mini golf. So I was like, all right, well, I'll cut my vacation a day short, mm. and coming here. I had to move my flight. Um, you know, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna miss you, Mark. Thanks, Connor. You're welcome. <laughs> and I definitely think when we come back. Or when you come back and we're all back together, if there is a situation where we would drink as a as a group out at a bar, I think the best way to do it would be to tie it into a trip to Wrigley. Let's go to Wrigley. I'll go to Wrigley. Wrigley and then we'll bars to, afterwards. I'll go to Wrigley. Wrigley is actually Wrigley might be the one situation where I'd say you guys want to get fucked up today. Yeah, I would do that. I would. I I will, I will reach out to. Yeah, we can do that all summer. I'll, I will gladly. I'll play hooky. I'll. That, that's. Yeah, that's. We should do a show from the bleachers. I would. I, would, I was about to say that. I would love to attempt to do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. I don't know how. I, if a, we, if we would we just do it a, later on a Saturday or something. Okay. Going live from, from yeah. Wrigley in some capacity. Yeah. We can set it up with the Cubs, maybe. Like we are, we're obviously not going to go during a game because. Yeah. Or or maybe. We or do, do you mean go live on a Saturday during a game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought uh, because when Ebo said we should do the show from the bleachers, I thought, well, they they don't play this early in the morning. Um, but yeah, we could do something else. We could go live from the, that would be fun. Do a, a nine nine and nine challenge from the bleachers <laughs> oh of uh, Wrigley. That would be so fun. <laughs> God, that would be crazy. Have you actually ever tried to do that nine nine nine? No, I I I ate. How many hot dogs did I eat on the Yak at Mincy Sir? Like four, and I was I was toast. Nine hot dogs is so many hot dogs. I ate four hot, hot dogs, dogs, and I was like, many, yeah. God damn, this is a lot of hot dogs. Yeah, two hot dogs is kind of too many. Yeah. When I when I go to like a, a backyard barbecue, people get upset about that. I almost called it a barbecue. A backyard grilling situation, whatever. You know what I'm you know the scene. Mm-hmm. People have dogs and burgers on the Cook grill. Out. Cookout. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Um I I always put two on my two items on my plate and uh, I eat them both and then I feel like shit and I'm like why did I eat two hot dogs I eat like one burger one hot dog or whatever you got to space them out I don't know like two two feels like too many two, some would two say, burgers is too many some would say that two hot dogs is actually the ideal amount and you could have them pretty much at any point of the day and I I feel like that would be totally fine how how are you eating two hot dogs are you eating them like this or like yeah, you know, what what angle do you Come attack on, those two hot dogs from? Let, 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 let's let's calm down. You holding you like one two, here? Yeah, you do double. You ever eat a foot long? How would you attack a foot long hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> never actually, you know, I've never had a foot long. Uh, you did eat two hot dogs for lunch. Yeah, two dogs, one bun. You, <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Blades of Glory? No, I haven't. Is that a line from the movie? There's a, a scene where they're talking about the public perception of male ice skating, a male ice skating duo, and they go to the concession stand guy, and he puts two hot dogs in one bun, and he goes, does this, this look right to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, last thing I want to do before I get out of here. Ebo, you want to go to the game Friday in Baltimore? I'll pay for your flight and take uh, it. This you Friday? Can, yeah, if you want to see Jackson Holiday's debut. 
Sure. That's what I was working on. I was working, looking up flights and hotels and seeing how feasible this actually would be. Yeah. I'll do that for you. I'm serious. I, yeah. Yeah. I'll go. All right. You're going. Cool. I'll get you tickets. We'll make it happen. Amazing. Sweet. Thank you. This show is the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a great show. I was I was trying to like not that I was not I was just like I, I didn't know if tickets were gonna be like ten thousand dollars or some shit that I was just making sure so I was that's what I was working on I was over here looking cool we well, hit uh, up game time too Maybe yeah we'll hit up game time um I'll fu- now, now I'm gonna spend the rest of the day trying to figure out how I don't have to actually pay for any of this yep. um but yeah go on Friday right would that be something yeah. you'd be interested like could you actually do that yeah I think so oh I, yeah <laughs> I don't think I have any obligations <laughs> Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dismiss the show, even. Fly in Friday morning. and What time's the game Friday? It's got to be a night game, right? It's not an afternoon game. If it's an afternoon game. It would just be... Uh, seven. Yeah, seven. Shit. We can get you in by, yeah. like, one or two. Yeah. Go to Pickles. Get you a hotel. Fly back Sunday. You have to get one of these shirts, though. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Me and RDT. Now, do you want to take Caitlin Walker as well, or? <laughs> um, if she wants to go to the game, she can come. Did I do you, have a did, I, did I miss that, by the way? You you broke up? That's dead. It's over. I, I did address it on the show yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I, Wait. I, I really didn't watch much of this. I, I, I turned on the show as I was getting ready to go to the airport, and I saw you sitting in the chair breaking down the national championship game, and then that's why I called in. Yeah. Um, that was more. But so I, I didn't ran really read it through my notes. I didn't really watch much else. It was uh, it was Friday when I was putting up the historically bad performance at the bar. Maybe it was tied into the fact that I was also fighting a battle with Nikki Smokes, and Nikki Smokes is posting about Caitlyn and all. Oh, you know, we're oh, so there. so Caitlyn left you for Nikki Smokes because you were, you she she saw you try to order a cheese pizza. She wasn't there, and. And she was like, "I can't do this. No. I can't do it with this guy anymore." No, they were at a they were at a different spot. But anyway, it, it's over. It, it, that's that's done with. Damn. I was working myself into a shoot. There was only so much more. I mean, it, we would have had to have gotten married. That that was it. Yeah, that was the next move, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, enjoy the rest of the wall? week, guys. You all? No. Okay. Did that Brandon was... seal that advertisement? Yeah, I mean, I don't have it in front of me, so. Someone threw out the the papers earlier. I read everything you put in front of me. What? I have. Yeah. I don't know if you gave Brandon one. He didn't read it. That would, that would be on brand. On brand on. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we yeah, I just printed it again. We gotta talk. Do you have wall. uh? Yeah, we gotta talk wall. Do you have um? filibustering material here uh I've been grinding your gears these no days. uh because again i can't stress enough that i should be on vacation right now um i do not want to be here and yet i'm here uh talking about wall cutting your hair at home isn't as hard as you think give your first diy haircut the old college try with help from wall wall is the brand used by professionals and has been in business for over 100 years being confident in your hairstyle is empowering guards aren't just for on the court the color pro cordless clipper is your styling mvp with an array of easy to see attachment guards ensuring you can easily score the perfect haircut link color pro cordless is rechargeable and wireless which allows you to use the clipper on the go or when it's charging because looking sharp should be a slam dunk buy the wall cordless color pro today uh, what what's the mini golf situation looking like? Um, Where are we at now? Who's, Francis who's, and Marty Francis, tied, eleven under. Francis and Marty are killing it. Um, who, oh, Whitney's fourteen under through six. Wow, how does this affect? Dude, what a if Whitney. That's a, that's a little on the nose to have a hockey guy transition to golf like that and be good. It's like we've seen this story before. Doesn't he have some sort you of know? like amateur or amateur status or something that he like couldn't play Dave in a money match because it would jeopardize Oh really? Wouldn't when, he's like like he's that like, with, like, I, golf? Yeah, I think he's he like, like that he good at golf. played in like a yeah, big amateur tournament in mass. That you can that. like qualify for events and stuff. Oh damn. But he didn't want to give up his status as an amateur cuz who makes be the best golfers uh other sport uh, other I almost did an Evo, other sports players, other athletes. Hockey, baseball, hockey, and then I think pitchers because they have nothing else to do. They turn into good. Yeah. yeah. 
golfers. Qu- quarterbacks feel like they're good golfers. Yeah, because they're just kind of like the, the dudes that have been good at everything forever. Yeah, yeah. They just kinda and they're also out. like the – they're cerebral. They have good touch because they have the, you know, the passes they throw and everything else they can um, – and also, they're not they're they're the football players that aren't overly jacked because I feel like that might be a problem for a lot of football players. It's like a fluid swing when you're that big and strong. Um, Basketball feels hard because you're so you're so tall. You're so tall. Tall it's people such are a not hard good golfers. Thing for yeah. Be a swing. I think Steph. I think Steph is the reason people think basketball. But that's reality, why I thought it. Yeah, the reality is Steph is the anomaly. The and point. Charles the point Barkley. guards. Yeah, are good at basketball. Yeah, and Charles Barkley obviously is great, but. Um, <laughs> I guess Jordan golfs. Is Jordan good at golf, though? We know Jordan golfs all the time, but I don't, I don't know. know if, I haven't actually heard of stories I've of Jordan. I've just heard stories of how much he, like, bets on yeah. the holes of golf. Yeah. Per hole, he'll bet. Yeah, I've never actually seen him swing. A, I guess in – two. Um, why do I call it Soon Squad? Space Jam. Yeah, Space Jam. Yeah. He plays in Space Jam, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he, hit a, he hit a hole in one in Space Jam. That's true. Yeah. The mag- Circled the – Circled the hole like twelve times and then trickled in for him. People forget. Yeah. Um. And what's on the silly part of the show? Uh, I just locked in your game time. Is gonna provide the tickets. If oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh sweet. Shout out game I mean, time. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. I kind of wanted credit. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a shout out. Kind of a nice thing I was gonna do. Like I was kind of hoping Evo would come back and <laughs> we don't have a flight. Want to kiss my feet yeah. and say thank you so much. Mark for get him get him first class flights. Um <laughs> fuck. All right. <laughs> uh what's a Kentucky man admits to faking his own death to avoid paying over one hundred thousand dollars in child support. Um yeah. Uh no shit. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh faking his own death to avoid paying a hundred thousand dollars in outstanding child support to his ex wife, according to a plea agreement. Um yeah, I don't know. I, I need to know more details. Like, is is that's a, the 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 child support and divorce type stuff is it's hard because it's like you know there are deadbeats out there, but also like maybe this guy's just like you know sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta fight the system, man. Sometimes you gotta fake your own death. I I'm pro faking your own death generally. So like anytime I hear faking your own death stories, I think I think my brain just reverts back to when I was like 13 and I thought that was the coolest thing you can do. And I became obsessed with it for a little while. Like, how would I do it? And um, I think I think the move is is car off a cliff, right? Is that that's it, Connor? Like, what what does the faking your own death community have to say about this? But then I don't know. There's got to be a body in the car. What is our fake? What is our slash fake your own death? I think you <laughs> tell everyone say. you're going to Yellowstone. Oh, you get lost in Yellowstone. Yeah, because a lot of people get lost in Yellowstone. I think yeah you 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 gotta get lost in a natural national park. What about the uh, what about those like uh, uh, the thermal pools that uh you know that you hear like the stories of like a is that Yellowstone like they like a dog like runs into the pool and then a guy jumps in to save his dog and they both just like it's like so acidic and hot that it just like burns everything that gets in there. Yeah. Um, maybe you like drop a f- you you go on one of those hikes and you like drop some of your belongings by a thermal pool and then everyone just assumes you went in there and you know there's no remains of you i don't know i think car off the cliff is the move i think car off the cliff i think you put a lot of um but do cars like explode when they go off the cliff cuz in my head you put like a like a pig carcass in the front seat you push it off a cliff it just explodes and then there's kind of nothing left and then they they just see a lot of blood, but they would probably sample the blood and stuff. How much do they investigate this shit? Um, That's the other thing. Is like how much? Yeah, go ahead, Connor. I, I'm on r slash fake your own death. <laughs> Does it really exist? No, no. Oh, the, but there is a Reddit. <laughs> there is a Reddit that somebody asked. I guess it's ask Reddit whatever. And they're like, hey, how would you fake your own death? Somebody pointed out instead of going off a cliff, just run your car straight into a wall or a building at a very very fast speed and then jump out of the car before you get to the to the wall and then that would be a better way it, it probably wouldn't explode it would be much easier to but everyone's gonna see you jump out of the car or at the very least i guess i think this was in an episode that's of why it's always sunny in philadelphia yeah it uh, was yeah. yeah 
Oh, that's so they're, that's just a reference. Maybe to, to or, so they're just, so what you're so what you're reading is a joke response and reference. No, no, no. <laughs> Cutter, what I did was I approached you with a very serious topic. How would you fake your own death? And you brought to me a fucking meme answer from no. Reddit, like a joke that is a reference to Always Sunny. Now I love Always Sunny. It's a funny show. It's a, this is not a time for jokes. We are trying to hone in on the best way to fake your own death, and you just simply provided a reference to a sitcom. Uh, I. I was trying to think of a solution to the explosion problem. Well, the cliff, the cliff thing is that in 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 the standard and like the routine way of of killing your of faking your own death, um, and you're driving the car off the cliff. You are in like a secluded part of a cliff, and and so how you got your car there, I'm not really sure. It's like a, you're shooting Jeep commercial or something, and you were you were taking your Jeep to places that nobody ever takes their Jeeps. Um, and then you accidentally turn left when you should have turned right, and then just fell off the cliff. But the idea is that no one's around to see it, that you weren't actually in the car. Now, what you're describing, if you jump out of the car and you're driving into a building, surely someone on the street would just see you tuck and roll and just be like, yeah, I mean, I, I saw the guy jump out right there. Yeah. And also... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. There was also somebody else who said, get lost at sea. Lost at lost sea. Lost at sea is a good one. Yeah. Lost at sea is a good one. Okay, there you go. Lost at sea is a really good one. All right. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's the show. Um, good luck the rest of the week, boys. Can you take these hats on vacation? Yeah, I'll pass them out to people in the Caribbean. Just uh, I'll try to just buy everything with. It. Like, do you guys take American? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, American hats. There's <laughs> 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 the the most sports hat. These came like, out. You didn't let me finish. I didn't say American legal tender. I said American, uh, American YouTube show slash podcast hats. Um, those those are the two we have. Do we have another color? Sorry, I was missing that. I was looking up flights for Evo as I was going on. Those are the. I think this is it, right? Yep. We should when these go on sale, we should do some sort of like uh, incentive based sales thing. You know, maybe with the family. We sell X. Yeah, you know what we should do is like a like a little league fundraiser, like a Girl Scout type thing, where all of us have to go door to door. You know, how, like when you were playing like little league baseball, and they would give you like a you have to, your your parents would have to buy the box of chocolate from the. Little League organization, then you'd have to go sell candy bars for like a dollar a pop. And then you'd take that money to finance your travel league jerseys or whatever. Yeah. We do that with the hats where we all have like 15 hats and we have to sell them door to door, which is an idea that sounds better in my head. But in, in, in reality, Brandon and I would I mean, really all of it. Connor would be the only one that would go try to sell door to door. We would all just come back the next day and be like, <laughs> hold him. Sold them. Here's the money, and just take out cash of our own. <laughs> door to door sales. I did that one one summer. Worst job. Worst job you. Can it have. sucks. I, I hated it. But how sucked. old were you? Uh, I was a freshman in college. Okay, like, then, my yeah. buddy's uncle ran like a okay. like construction company, and we would go door to door like looking for selling construction. in jobs like with Dude, siding, windows, sucks. roofing, and the amount of times people just wanted no part of me. Yeah, made me want to just like end it. It's the worst. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Coupon book was good, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know the only, my only experience with it was we were playing high school football. We'd, we'd had the, uh, the the coupon book thing. We had, like, the $20 gold card or whatever that, like, all the, the local pizza place and the auto shop and everyone, like, opts in. And then on the back it has, like, a certain discount or a buy one, get one free or whatever else at all the local places. And – those were actually very like people yeah. in the people in my neighborhood wanted them badly, and I knew that. And by the time I'm a senior, I've done this a few years. I know who wants them, and I know they actually are. They would ask me before we would get them when when do they, when do we, when do they get the cards? When do you get the cards? When do you get the cards? And still, when we would get the cards, and I'd have to go knock on their door and sell them these cards, I was like, this fucking sucks, dude. I don't want to do this. So I can't imagine like cold knocking on people's door. Are you interested in construction equipment? Yeah, or like, do you do you need your siding redone? What's your attic insulation like? How many inches is in there? Six? Dude, Better Business uh, Bureau recommends uh, thank God lie for, about the amount. Thank God for ring doorbells now, by the <laughs> way. You did, like, get the – my doorbell rings. I just immediately look to see who it is. And if it's some doofus, I don't know. I just don't even answer it. That sucked back in the day. You'd, you just open the door. Now you're stuck in a conversation with a siding salesman? Yeah. Ugh. Um. All right. That's it. I'm going to miss you guys. I'll be back. Uh, when am I back? Um, let me see here. July. Yeah, July. I'll be back in July. 
I'll be back. I'm back next Wednesday. Okay. I'll be back on the show next Wednesday. Next Wednesday morning, I'll be I'll be back. Uh, seven days from now, I'll be I'll be back in this chair. So amazing. Um, all right. Good luck to Brandon. How's Brandon doing? Let's get a Brandon update, and then we can. He had a massive fuck up on one of the holes. I know that. Sounds about right. Where he he hit it out of bounds. He was trying to go over one of the ramps, and it did not work out for him. But aside from that, I don't know how he's doing. Okay. Stay locked. Good, in. good update. Watch Thanks. all the things. Yeah. Thanks for the update. Uh, yeah, watch all the things. You do. You guys doing a yak today? Yep. Yeah. All right. Doing I don't know how that's gonna work, but how? But yeah, watch the yak. Watch the mini golf. Watch watch everything at Barstool. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Everyone else, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. That's how ball is done.